JavaScript evangelist. In the last video, we updated our post service and added few public methods. Using these methods, today we are going to learn how to load blog post on our user profile. So, of course, we are also going to uh, add a new component called user profile. And if you haven't watched the last video, this video won't make any sense to you. So, let's get started. So, currently we don't have any user profile component. So, we are going to generate that for us. Go to your terminal or command prompt on Windows and type ng g for generate and we are going to generate a component so c for component and the component in name is going to be user profile and hit enter so we have successfully created a new folder and the, we have a user profile component what i want is now when i go to the website and if i click hover and click on this username over here I should land on the profile of that particular user so for that we are going to need to add routes so go to your routes file which is located under app and i'm just going to duplicate this because it's almost identical to the posts route and instead of post we are going to name it as users and uh, at users path, we are not going to visit this path ever uh, in future maybe, but for now we are going to load something basically uh, something like this host slash whatever the port number slash users slash the username. So username can be anything like anything steel. Okay. All right. So users and the username. So the placeholder, the params, the user route params going to be username and over here we are going to load user profile component and let's check it out how it looks. We also need to update this single post component. So let's just quickly go to single post component HTML and over here we need to add the path to the username. So I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to use it over here like this. All right, also update this and I'm going to remove the post body. And let's see how it looks. All right, it's refreshing. And here we go. So we have the post title and the username. And if you click on the user, you can see user profile works fine. Uh, right now, what we want is uh, we want to load this user. So based on the username. So I'm going to do just that. Go back to your user profile component. And over here, since we need to read this username from the route params, uh, I'm going to load a service called activated routes, which will help us do the same. So I'm going to load this as a route activated routes and over here uh, also to note route activated route is an observable so you need to subscribe to it so first of all uh, i'm going to load user over here as an observable observable of type user this dot user is equal to this dot route dot params if you have watched my previous video about routes, uh, you know that params is again an observable and you need to subscribe to it. So I need to do it something like this, then subscribe to this user. So basically, if I'm subscribing to an observable, I can set the value of whatever I receive over here equal to the whatever the value I received. Then again, I need to subscribe it again uh, to load the user the actual user from the service so i need to make a call to find user by username right so that's going to be very tedious it's not the correct way to write this code so i'm going to leverage switch map so instead of using subscribe i'm going to use switch map so switch map carries forward the value of previous uh, observable so we get the params now what I need to do is I need to return 
another service call, another observable from this service call that is find user by username. So we'll need to load post service as a private. All right. So we can return it over here like this, this dot post service dot find user by username. And since we have this params and the username, we can pass it over here directly like this. So we have the username. You can even write this in one line like this. And let's see if it works. Just use the async pipe and JSON pipe over here to display the user as a JSON data. Right, let's check it out. It's already working. Page has refreshed itself automatically. If we get the null, then after that, you get a user. If I change the username over here, you can see I'm getting the user and its details. So the thing which I'm mostly interested in is the user's key. Because we are going to need to get this user, which is over here so find post keys per user which eventually calls the find user by username and we need this key user key to load the blog post of that particular user so once we have the user we need to make another call to the post service to get post by username so let's just do that so i'm going to store blog posts into another observable over here called post so once you have the user and its username, so we have to make another call to get the po blog posts. So what we can do is, since posts is dependent on the username, we can add the call inside the switch map. We are anyway going to return this, but once we have the username, we can make the call to the post service this dot post service dot so basically we want this method get post by username we already have the username which is this one and send it over here all right let's see if it's working fine uh, by the way this parameter method over here i think needs something else and if you look at the post get post by username it also needs a query so query is basically we want to limit the uh, blog post that which we are receiving so this is going to be treated as the first page of our blog posts for the particular user so we can pass a query object over here which will have the limit all right let's check it out how it looks uh, also for the post uh, i'm going to display it over here and let's see All right, you first get the user, then after a while you get the blog posts. Now uh, we need to implement uh, the next and previous buttons. So I'm quickly going to add the HTML for the user profile. So I'm getting the user and I'm loading the user uh, with the async pipe. And if user is not present, I'm displaying this template over here. All right, we have the next post button over here. Let's see how it looks. So this is the user. Now we need to load the posts. We already have a component app single post and we are going to utilize that. All we need to pass is the post list as post, which is over here. So we're going to pass the async object posts and let's see how it looks. All right, we have the blog post, but if you click on the next post, nothing will happen and uh, so we need to add a function next post next post function is uh, similar to this one which is over here so rather than calling this as a post we can uh, just call it as get posts all right we can even put this query aside and just pass a query object over here All right, let's just call this function get posts. So, and I have to just pass the username and the query object. 
which eventually sets the post observable the value which received all right so setting the next post is uh, identical uh, we have to call the get post again this dot get post which will get us all the blog post all right so i think uh, this username we can store it in a private variable over here and we can store this username this dot username is equal to params username and utilize the same and again over here all right so this dot username and the query object so in this case uh, since next post uh, we have to load we have to find the key of the last post so username is going to be the same username query we can specify the query uh, to start looking for a post at a start at key and limit the post by a specific limit so the object the query object we are going to add it as so query is going to be uh, first of all we are going to uh, order them order the query to be order by key true and we have to pass the key at which we want to start looking for the blog posts so first of all we'll just pass a limit to first and limit we can set it as 3 and we want to start looking at so start at key so start at key will be the post which we have currently and the last post so what we can do over here is we can subscribe to this post once we subscribe over here we get all the posts once we have the posts all we need is the last post key so we can specify a variable over here called start at. So start at is going to be the key of the last post. Post and post is since post is an array, I want the last element of an array. Post dot length minus one and we get the dollar key of that post. And simply once we are inside the subscription of post, we can make another call to get post and we can just specify the start at variable over here you can even omit this like this and let's see how it looks okay if you refresh now and you can see uh, blog posts are loading and if you click on the next post you get the next post let's change the user over here and please notice over here on the console log and if you hit the next post again you get the next post but there is a very big problem we are fetching the post but we are constantly making the call to get user right so we are going to avoid this and this file user profile component it's not written very well the code is not perfect so we're going to make this code perfect in the next video also we are going to learn about behavior subject that is reactive programming with the stateful service so we're going to learn rxjs behavior subject in the next video so stay tuned for the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you